Why play Trundle Top? Well, he is a ridiculously good duelist. He's a great split pusher, he naturally has tons of sustain, and his pillar provides way more CC than you think. However, he doesn't have any gap closer so he can get kited, and he can be reliant on his ultimate to be able to duel some of the more difficult champions. Trundle's passive is whenever an enemy dies nearby, Trundle heals himself for a percentage of that target's max health. Trundle's Q is an auto attack reset which makes his next attack deal bonus damage and slow the target for a very small amount of time. After using the empowered attack, Trundle gains bonus attack damage for 5 seconds and reduces the target's attack damage by half of that amount. Trundle's W places a large circle on the floor for 8 seconds. While he's within this area, he gains bonus attack speed, bonus move speed, and 25% increased healing. Trundle's E creates a pillar of ice in a circle on the floor. Enemies hit by the center are knocked back, and the pillar acts as terrain and slows nearby enemies. Trundle's ultimate is a point and click ability, which is essentially the ultimate 1v1 tool. Upon using it against an enemy champion, it deals magic damage and you heal the same amount. And he also steals 40% of their current armor and magic resist and increases in size by 18% while decreasing the enemy in size. By stealing all of your opponent's tanky stats and giving them to yourself, you become incredible. For combos, to get onto your opponent, start with W into E and your ultimate. From here, auto attack into Q before spamming away with more auto attacks. And when already close to your opponent, start with W into an auto attack in Q before spamming away with more attacks. When they realize they can't simply stand and bang with a trundle, use E to bunch them back towards you. For matchups, trundle is great into champions who usually rely on being able to 1v1 as trundle simply wins, but he can struggle against champions who will hard kite him and don't have any tanky stats to steal. For runes, take this, lethal tempo is just incredible with him and demolish funnels even more gold into you. For build orders, start blade and pot into triforce and tier 2 boots. After this, a rav hydra and Holebreaker will make you an incredible split pusher before finishing your build with any of these as needed. For skill orders, start Q then W then E before maxing Q then W then E taking ult whenever you can. For summoner spells take ghost and teleport. Starting the game as trundle your main focuses are going to be on farming hard and taking good trades. At level 1 especially if you're against an AD melee champion if you can fight go for it. Between having lethal tempo and your Q not only giving you AD but also stealing AD it gives you a massive advantage. And because your passive gives you so much sustain even an even trade can come out in your favor. When you hit level 6 especially if you have ghost available you are now an absolute threat. Being able to W onto your opponent ghost at them and then bunts them back into you with your ultimate is incredible. You essentially force them into a position where they have to flash away, or have an angry troll beat them with a club. But with your pillar having such a good slow, even if they flash away you can often still chase them down. And between you stealing their magic resist and armor, as well as their attack damage, they simply mathematically do not have the numbers to deal with you. Entering the mid game you want to take your tower as soon as possible and start split pushing. You push waves and destroy towers incredibly quickly, and this is even more true after you get Rav Hydra and Holebreaker. Keep split pushing for pressure, knowing if they send one person you can easily outduel them, and if they send two people you can simply back up. And if they don't send anyone, you simply take their base. Of course, all the while still having teleport available to get into a team fight if needed. Entering late game team fights, you want to play the front line diving onto their back line. Use your ultimate on their tankiest person. This will make you ridiculously tanky and make them incredibly squishy. Either shred through them then dive their back line, or simply run as their back line and start smacking them with a club. 